Hey guys, this is Johnny and in the previous video I showed you an animation system which has an aiming state with 8 way strafing animation and a not aiming state where I blend 3 animations idle, walk and run according to the player's movement. One thing that was really bugging me was if I rotate the player while running, this looks very unnatural as the animation does not slow down with the player velocity. I really wanted it to look something like this. When the player runs and rotates and the velocity reduces, then the animation should blend more towards walking. It might seem like a very trivial thing, but for the sake of problem solving, I went ahead and approached it with linear equations. I realized I used a range from minus 1 to plus 1 as the blend value for the idle walk run blend, and the velocity ranges from 0 to run speed. So if I graph a linear equation, taking the velocity as input or x and having the blend value as output or y, I would get a simple line just like this. In this line, the first point has a velocity of idle state as x and the blend value of idle state as y. Similarly, the second point has velocity of walk state as x and the blend value of walk state as y. And the third point has the velocity of run state as x and the blend value of run state as y. But the single straight line would only work if the walk speed falls under the straight line. But in reality, the walk speed could be different. So what I did was, I created two straight lines, one from idle to walk and another from walk to run. And if I combine the two straight lines with a piecewise function, I'll get something like this. So it doesn't matter whatever the run speed or walk speed is, I'll always get a nice linear blend of the idle walk run animation, which depends on the idle walk run velocity. I provided an explanation of the whole thing over here. So in the code, I'm going to implement this piecewise function. IWBlend being the straight line from idle to walk and WRBlend being the straight line from walk to run. And here I'm going to set the blend amount accordingly. If the velocity length is less than or equal to the walk speed, the blend value will follow the first line else it would follow the second line. I'm also going to comment the three lines that I used for this before. Now you see, the animation is truly blending with the velocity. Here's what it looked like before. And here's the linear function implementation. I've provided the link for this graph in the description below. It contains all the explanation and all the code snapshot. So that's it for this one, see you in the next video.